In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Calendar's appointment schedule feature. This is just like Calendly and it allows you to choose blocks of times that you're available for appointments. So that might be calls or just invites to different things. So here's how you can do it and get this all set up. So first you need to head over to Google Calendar. To do that, go to calendar.google.com and then here you are inside of Google Calendar provided you're logged into your Google account. Now here where it says create in the top right hand corner, click on this downwards arrow, then go to appointment schedule and it will open up this window. Now here I'm going to give this a title and I'll just call this something like call availability and we can leave it at that. Now obviously if you have a more specific reason that you're sending people to your calendar, then you can put that here. If it's a sales call, if you're trying to sell people something, add that here. Now appointment duration, how long is this going to last? I'm going to change this to 30 minutes and that's going to give you more availability. Now here you've got to select your general availability. So that's going to be generally when you're available for calls. Now you can go and change this later or mark specific dates as unavailable. But as a general rule of thumb, you can enter in times here that you're available. So let's say on Mondays, I'm available for calls from 11 till five, then Tuesdays nine till five. And obviously you can customize this to your schedule. Let's say Wednesday, we're unavailable all day and it takes it out. You can choose this, you can change it to your time zone and just make sure that all of this is correct because people will be able to book calls based on this availability. Then you've got your scheduling window. How long do you require people to book a call in advance? So it says here four hours, but if you need like one day, then obviously you can put here 24 hours. That means that nobody can book a call unless they're 24 hours before the call date. And then they can only book a call for up to two months maximum. And then you can go ahead and just click next. You can choose or create a new calendar for this if you wanted to. And but mine is just gonna go on my personal calendar. We'll then click on next. Okay, so now you've got your booking page and name. That's going to take your profile picture from Google. So that's good to go. You've then got the location, which is probably going to be Google Meet. So I'm going to click that and it's going to generate a link after a booking and send it to their email. You can add a note. Let's say you can put here like bring XYZ to the call or answer these questions. I'll just put in this box here, bring XYZ. And obviously you can prepare these clients for the call. Then you've got the booking form. So by default, it's going to ask first name, surname, and email address. You can add more here if you wanted to. Custom item, maybe I want their YouTube channel if I'm doing a YouTube channel review. So I can put here YouTube channel link and require this and then click add item. Then we've got the booking confirmation. You are going to get an email personally and so is the person that books. We can then click on save. And what we can do now is we can go ahead and open the booking page and just preview this whole thing. So when someone goes to this link, they'll be able to then book a slot. They can enter in their info here and they can then click book and that will lock it in for a specific time and you will get an email. They will get an email and you'll both get a Google Meet link that you can join. It's very simple and very easy. If you wanted to share it, go to share in the top right hand corner and you can then copy this link. Very, very simple stuff. Once you've done that and you do want to go to appointment schedule in the future, you can just click on any page or any date and then you'll see appointment schedule. Then if you click on this edit appointment schedule button, here you can flick through your dates and you can obviously customize for different weeks. So obviously you can go into this and then you can choose to block out some schedules if you're going on holiday, for example, or something like that. You can go to custom here and you can enter in very specific dates. Get this to repeat, never. And if you have a holiday, this will be useful as well. It's not perfect, um, but you can do it. You could just probably put repeat every one week and then enter in some custom dates where you can add custom availability. So that's how I would do it. That's how you can get it done. I hope that quick video helped you out. Let me know in the comments if you're going to use this.